Hi, Pisces. This is a reading on your current situation. You, your situation, and another energy person in your environment here. It doesn't have to be love. Sometimes it is. All right, that's what we're getting into today. We're going to see the dynamics around you. Okay, let's see what's up. Pisces. Protection. Protection. Okay, so bottom of the deck is union. This is uh, actually kind of nice here. This is about a relationship of yours, Pisces, and it does look like you're making a deal with someone. So maybe you are committed or you're starting to take something more seriously relating to a partnership in your life. We have protection here and there's a need to keep this relationship, this partnership. I'm hearing under wraps. Okay. Some of you, that means there's a, there's a secret going on here. All right. That's, that's not everybody, but I am seeing that you're needing to keep your relationship, your partnership protected. So you're protecting a person, a union from other people in your environment here. Ah, so I do feel like you could have been in a group of people. I'm seeing three generations. All right. This is like grandma, mother, child kind of dynamic. So maybe you were, but it feels like you were in a very romantic or a loving mood here, connecting with people with this queen of hearts. And I feel like you could have been in maybe almost like a fantasy-like type situation about someone. This is like fantasizing about someone, remembering your love for someone, feeling your love, okay, for people around you, your family, and also I feel a person here. A relationship? So you're, some of you guys are telling people around you, your important people, your group, right, that you're seeing someone or you're about to be taking something seriously here. And you may feel like you have to protect a dynamic from other people in your environment, like perhaps someone's family or someone's group doesn't approve or there's a fear of this, okay? I do wanna let you know everything's easy going here. It's working out, whatever you're doing, it's uh, smooth sailing. Let's see what's going on. You have the Ace of Swords. Oh man, let me see your situation. You're coming out as Ace of Swords. You're like, I see it, I see it now. Yeah, see this? We have the Five of Swords here along with the Princess of Swords. Bottom of the deck is the world. I do feel as though you're making a choice. You're making something clear. You're telling people your intentions. You're also drawing a line in the sand. Do not cross my boundary. This is how it is. This is how it's going to be. And I'm telling you not because I want your opinion, but I'm telling you because this is the truth and I want you to know the truth of what's going on with me. So you're proclaiming something here, okay? Your situation with the five of swords, it feels as though you're like up in arms against someone or you're dealing with a jealous individual here, or you, you know, someone around you to be quite jealous. They try to disarm you. They try to take away your words, maybe switch up your words here. Okay. Whoever this person is, they, they dissect everything you say in order to try to spin it their way, or they try to make things sound a particular way. This is interesting, okay? Somewhat of a bully type energy, verbally. It's like um, someone likes to verbally spar with you. So bottom of the deck, we do have the world. This is telling me, yeah, you're protecting a relationship if you don't see this for what it is, is what I'm hearing. So you're telling someone, see it for what it is, see for the truth, okay? I love this person, or I'm in this partnership. I'm moving into business with this person. We're working together. We're committed, and you're protecting that with the world card here, okay? So let me see who you're dealing with. This is quite an interesting dynamic, what we're picking up. Who's in Pisces reading? Who are we talking about? Okay, I'm hearing something about Star Wars. Eight of Pentacles. The Prince of Wands. Busy. A little busy bee over here. Let me see what's behind this. There's someone between you and this person, guys. 
someone is trying to deflate what it is that you're saying in front of another individual here from what I'm seeing. Let me see more about it. It looks like you're dealing with an earth sign with fire or a fire sign with earth. And I'm seeing primarily Virgo and Leo, but could be anything here. Yeah, the four of wands and the eight of cups. This person feels like uh, ashamed. They just want everybody to get along with this Four of Wands energy, working on a relationship. Let me see what's going on. All right, we need some more information here, especially with this Ace of Swords. Tell me what Pisces is doing here. By the way, I see you moving into a new position, guys. You could be telling people about that too. Like, um, hey, I have this new position I'm working on. I have a victory here and someone's trying to take that away from you it's almost like oh really well you're not that great anyway or i mean something weird this person feels thinks let me see here about pisces with this ace of swords it's like you feel threatened by someone which i can see why they, they want you to let me see about this ace of swords okay lots of cars keep trying to pop here ace of no Ace of Swords, please, for Pisces. Here we go. That's what I'm saying. So your Nine of Wands is here. I do feel like you feel someone is kind of at your throat, okay? Especially about a specific individual you may have been talking to, speaking to, partnering with, some kind of change you're experiencing, uh, working on something new here. And you feel like you need to stand up for yourself or you will be needing to stand up for yourself. And that's what's going on. Because this is going to happen quick, fast, and in a hurry where someone hears you talking about something or hears about a choice that you've already made and there's like some truth coming to light about your current disposition is what I'm hearing. Okay, so someone is seeing that you're a little bit irritated or aggravated about this and that you're protecting this at all costs. Um, and I feel like they're provoking that, I'm not gonna lie. But it, they know that you're going through something that's getting you to a better place and they feel the need to strip you of that somehow, which I don't understand why, but okay. Let me see about this. Tell me about this Princess of Swords. It could be an air sign here. Who is this? Page of Pentacles. With the temperance. They're talking about like a Sagittarius here, or they're talking about your relationship, your intimate bond, a choice that you're making, a plan that you have, and they're poo-pooing all over it. They're just like Pisces, that's unrealistic, that's stupid. And you're like, what are you talking about? Why would you even say that's not your place? Yeah, this is someone who's talking out of turn, okay? Let's just leave it at that. I, I'm kind of getting bored of that. Let me see about this four of wands and this eight of pentacles person. Tell me, Ace of Wands. Okay, I feel like there's something getting very serious here. You and a plan, a partnership, an alliance. Okay, it's in the works. I do see this person that is in your energy in a good way is putting efforts toward working together with you. Here is the Five of Wands. This person will come to your defense whoever this is, okay? It's definitely someone who's more cool and calm and collected. Um, I feel like they're around when they see this happen or they hear this person talking crap or, you know, trying to deflate your self-esteem here. And they're kind of like, hey, you know, this is actually what it is. So it's definitely someone who's standing up for you, standing up for a union, saying, hey, Pisces is cool. Pisces is good. Let Pisces do what they want. Or I'm actually doing this with Pisces and this is how it is and this is how it's going to be. So, you know, your opinion is not really valid or necessary. Yeah, see with this um, Queen of Cups here and the lovers, pretty much. Feeling the love. This person loves you. Tell me more about Pisces. Eight of Cups. So we have Eight of Cups and Eight of Cups here. 
you have the Six of Swords, the Seven of Wands, and this Page of Swords. Um, I feel like some of you guys may find that you're just so disinterested in this person trying to d deflate your, <laughs> I'm stuttering, trying to deflate your self-esteem. Um, to poo poo on your win or your victory here and there's something about you just really wanting to disconnect you basically say hey that's a no-go this is you standing your ground having boundaries telling this person to stop prying don't be in my business I'm not interested and some of you guys just get up and straight up leave you're like goodbye it's done okay goodbye I'm not interested you're lame you're boring it's like this and I'm not saying anybody's lame or boring but I'm just saying okay don't be sensitive okay let me see I'm talking to cross watcher there by the way let me see this. Pisces, but Pisces. Yeah, look at that. The king of swords and the devil. This is someone who's intentionally wanting to like stir, stir the pot with you. This is an unhealthy dynamic. It very well may be an Aquarius in your environment here or someone who's just behaving this way. Okay, um, they could have some Capricorn energy as well, but this individual is just really unhappy. Um, it's an aspect of control, really, it feels. Let me see what else. Are they just like being kind of like a, a stickler? Yeah, see, it's like they're proud to kind of be a jerk or proud to deflate you with this Five of Cups here. They want you to feel sad. Yeah, pretty much, but they actually miss you. This is interesting. So you're dealing with someone who acts real proud and they like to say things they shouldn't be saying. It's actually real offensive. They like to be, you know, over the top or real pushy and it's inappropriate. And that's why you're telling me it's inappropriate here. And that's why you get up and go or you just like ice this out real quick. And this person, like, as soon as this happens, they're acting all high and mighty. Like, oh, this is me on my high horse over here. And really, they're feeling upset or sad over here. I feel like this person's trying to make you like sad or cry. Um, they miss the old days when you guys used to connect in a different way, which is so interesting because that is not how, you know, you connect with someone. It's like, oh, you've changed Pisces. And it's like, no, like, why are you, you know, acting like that? Let me see. What's this person over here doing? Wow, Pisces, what a dynamic. So the Wheel of Fortune. Le Hierophant and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, the Temperance. I'm telling you, this individual on this side, which is interesting because we're pulling like three people. This in it doesn't always happen like that. This individual here is... Um, Wanting to keep some sort of peace with you and with everybody. That's definitely this individual's um is it a Sagittarius? That's definitely this individual's perspective of things. It's like as long as everybody's cool or getting along or we can just like let this go, like we're fine, we don't need to deal with it too long, you know, just just let it be basically. So this this person's keeping really cool, calm, and collected, like I said over here which is nice okay let me see this person's next moves really quick and then we will pull for next two weeks two weeks i said that in another person's reading another sign yeah strength the temperance the hermit and the sun oh <laughs> This is someone, you have Sagittarius energy, we got Leo energy, Virgo energy, okay? Again, uh, this is someone who's kind of like, hey, you know what, it's not that big of a deal. Um, let's just reflect on it. Like, we don't need to respond. Um, we don't need to react. Let's just like be chill for a minute so we can just be free of this energy with this sun card, okay? Absolutely. This is somebody who's pretty much saying like, hey, let's be the bigger person, Pisces. We don't we don't got to be involved with this back and forth, tit for tat kind of stuff with that Five of Swords energy for sure. Someone is protecting you and standing up for you. And I feel like you're standing up for your union with this person. Yeah, Four of Wands comes out. Okay, Pisces next moves. 
I also feel this is an individual trying to shed some light on this union. Yeah, the Five of Wands. So the Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Cups with the Emperor. You feel as though whatever plan that this individual has to kind of maybe tell um, a superior, if it's like a, a father figure maybe or a boss type individual, you feel as though their, their plan to kind of uh, impress this person is not up to par or it's not going to be up to par. Like you feel as though this other individual is just too macho to be accepting any kind of efforts that this person is doing towards you. Okay, so five of wands. Yeah. It's almost like, go ahead, give it a shot. I mean, I'm not seeing the best of it, but good luck is basically... I feel like you guys have this plan to tell someone here. Like I said, we kind of started like that. Telling people around you, this is what we're doing. This is what we're planning. This is what, you know, we're embarking on. And people, someone in particular just hates this whole idea. Like they just feel like it's, it's you know, not good. Okay. So that's where this the whole thing's happening. Let's see. What's going to be happening next between Pisces and this individual, please? Le lovers. Six of wands. Okay, wow. Eight of wands, page of cups, four of swords, ten of pentacles, two of cups. Yeah, hermit. I'm hearing think it over. Okay. I almost feel like you're telling your people, hey, this is this is what I want to do with this person or this is my my boyfriend or this is my girlfriend or I'm getting engaged or I'm accepting this new position and these are the changes that are taking place in my life. And just somehow everybody's just upset. One person in particular, I do feel it's a masculine energy here, okay? But I also see that with this individual who is, it's like they're they're able to kind of moderate the energies and it's like keep allowing you and others in the environment to keep their cool and their calm. Even if people are seeing this, we have a lot of onlookers here is what it feels. It's almost like a public display in front of maybe a few people about this whole shebang. Okay. Um, Your union is being reflected upon, even if this individual at first doesn't like it, the one in the middle here, I do feel that something is calmed down after a little bit of time. It may take time, of course, with this four of swords and this temperance energy, but I do feel that there's like a general consensus, like this is okay, this is fine, things are good, you know. Um, it's just one person having a little nitpicky sitch. So anyway, I see things actually working out here, okay, I do. Show me Pisces. Maybe you're, yeah, I feel like you're having like a life change, a major like life change, like a good one. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. Five of Wands, the Three of Swords, the Seven of Wands. Yikes. This really is just solidifying your position, Pisces, um, about your relationship, about your offer here, your partnership. It really is. Even though there could be a lot of disappointments from what I'm seeing with the Three of Swords, I feel like you're deflated or you're exhausted or you feel like you really need to stand up for yourself and stand your ground amongst a bunch of people kind of scrapping or squabbling or people just pushing back against you and your ideas. The thing is, 
you are like, because of this trial and this tribulation, it's somehow strengthening your choice. It's like, I did make the right choice. I don't care what these people say. I don't care what this person does or says. It's something like this going on. Unfortunately, I do see like a disagreement, okay? Um, like we did say in the reading, so it's fine. It's not the same person. It's, it's, you know, the one in the middle, the one with the five of swords. That's who this is. That's what I'm saying. It only enforces what you're wanting to do to protect this earth sign individual, to protect this Virgo over here, um, and possibly to close out maybe a Capricorn energy or vice versa, whatever the case. It's something to this effect, okay? So you're having a realization about someone in your environment here about how ugly things turned and how it's just almost like, I can't believe this person is acting this way just outright in front of people. It's a lot like somebody may have had some like hidden, maybe passive aggressive energy toward you and they make some remarks and in front of people and it's really embarrassing. So I feel like you're kind of embarrassed about the way that this group is functioning or the way that people have been speaking badly or poorly, especially in front of someone here that maybe is not too involved. All right. I feel like there's an individual, it could be this person, who is mingling with a group that they're unfamiliar with, but you are, you're familiar with these people or vice versa. Okay. There's the six of cups on the bottom of the deck. You may begin to feel a little bit bound by ideas of a group or a function, the way that a group functions here. And there's a need for you to be able to see things from a different vantage point or to be able to break free. It does feel like things of your past or maybe patterns of your past are keeping you kind of feeling like this is what these people expect of me or this is what my group expects of me. So I have to maintain. But there's definitely a lot of your mental space that is kind of keeping you there. Um, it's in your mind, your restrictions with these people or this person, whatever, is definitely something you can free yourself from. Let's see what's Pisces. You got a little bit of a conflict here. Okay. Advice, again, the Three of Swords and the Five of Swords just popping out here. Um, interesting. You're taking the high road, okay? With this hangman, this fool, it's like, okay, I can see things from a different way. I don't need to be involved. I don't need to, you know, assert myself in the face of someone trying to exploit me is what it is. So Pisces, advice, guidance, anything you want to say to Pisces regarding the situation or otherwise, please, spirits. You have to say. Cards pop in. Ooh. So five of cups on the bottom of the deck. I'm hearing buttercup. The ten of cups here and the king of cups is here. Wow. Um, Pisces. Things are okay. This is your energy. Okay. With the five of cups, we do have Mars. And we have Mars influence here as well. This is talking about a lot of maybe disagreements and conflicts and also pressures you may be experiencing within a group dynamic or a family dynamic or conflicts about how you actually feel and whether you're happy or not, whether you're proud of your choices and your decisions. Because it looks like you're experiencing a little bit of um, maybe I shouldn't have done that or this sucks. I can't believe it played out this way. The fact of the matter is that your happiness is being restored here. Anything else? Those just popped out. I wanted to lay them out though. Let's see. 
Wow, so nitpicky. So the Queen of Swords is here. Eight of Swords. Yeah. There's a realization that you need to have about your dynamics within a group during this time, Pisces. This is what the cards are saying. Because it's almost as though you need to be able to have the freedom to choose and the freedom to act and make moves and say what you need to say, call people out and not victimize yourself or not allow other people to victimize you. And for you to have to comply or be restricted by maybe a bossy individual or someone who's trying to be in charge, okay? It's like they're trying to keep you or they want you to behave a certain way. They feel like you owe them something. They have some jealousy it's like this and it's important that you realize that a lot of this can be managed by a change of your focus and a change of what you're perceiving right now okay so there's energy needing for you to clear your head to be able to think clearly because I feel like there's a lot of input coming your way from people like Pisces this Pisces that you should say this you should do that and it's really none of anybody's business what you choose to do it's about your personal happiness is what we're seeing here and you being able to say what you need to speak the truth and to bring truth to people about your choices and your decisions and you're able to free yourself in doing so so don't be afraid to speak up not saying that you are but the eight of swords is someone who may feel restricted and bound by their circumstance as opposed to feeling empowered and you're needing to feel empowered with this queen of swords you can really just put some people in their place and speak on the truth here and let everybody know and that's what spirit wants you to know yeah it's, it's a lot like saying to somebody i don't want you to be pushing me around or telling me what to do it's none of your business anyway it's kind of like this okay you might be allowing this to happen um unintentionally or maybe even subconsciously so think about that okay because you need to reclaim your voice is what this is. We do have the four of cups here. You don't have to stay where you are. You don't have to choose. You don't have to be involved in certain partnerships or relationships that you don't want here with the four of cups, okay? That's what this is. If somebody's wanting to apologize to you, Pisces, I feel like you're gonna need to think about this long and hard during this time because it looks like someone's trying to come in and maybe even after doing something really terrible or saying something really crappy to you, they're like, Pisces, I'm so sorry, I love you, and you know I do. And this is you kind of looking at them like, yeah, but if you did, why would you have done this? Or you wouldn't have done this. You wouldn't have said this. So there's something about this going on. I feel like you might need to think very clearly and use your intuition about some sort of BS that someone could be feeding you during this time, especially like a pseudo type of apology or a half-ass type of apology. Okay, because that's what I see happening. You also may have a romantic offer coming in, but it's almost as though you kind of know that there is someone who wants to just keep you bound if this is a romantic offer. And you don't really have to accept that either. So the Four of Cups is telling me, resist anything that is keeping you stuck or even you need some clarity surrounding how you're limiting yourself during this time and being able to speak up, okay? Pisces on the bottom of the deck with the High Priestess, yeah. There's also a need for you to stay in some sort of feminine kind of receptive energy during this time with the Three of Pentacles. All right, because you're receiving some sort of cooperation by doing so. Six of Cups. Oh, okay, and the star. And the Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Cups is here. There's some type of a bond that is being strengthened here, especially with the past Pisces, okay? I feel like there's something about a relationship that's making you realize your value. And I also feel there's a lot of understanding and compassion coming in through a trying time. So this is quite interesting because I feel you have multiple dynamics going on around you, but it does feel as though your aspirations are very important. Um, trusting in them, keeping the faith that you are capable, that you are able. This is going to help you, especially emotionally. Yeah, 
the seven of wands, yep. Stand your ground, Pisces. We do have the nine of wands. You really have to stand your ground about the desires that you have and your wishes that you want fulfilled. And you are working on it and they are coming in. It's just that people are like testing you or trying you and making you stand your ground and push back on their opinions. And you feel like, you know, I mean, it's kind of difficult when you really want something and there's someone important or someone close to you. They don't have to be important. Someone close to you who's kind of making you feel like it's worthless or that you are. And there's a there's a need for you to realize that it's not. It's not true what this person's putting on you, projecting upon you, okay? Because you actually do have some great energy here. Um, we have Sun, Star, and Venus, This is perseverance and definitely standing up for yourself. And another nine, yeah. Okay, Pisces, you got this, my love. You got it. I'm going to go ahead and leave it right there. Wow, if you like this, please make sure to hit the like. You know why? Because YouTube is constantly changing. This algorithm is sometimes difficult to keep up with, and it would actually really help out the channel here, especially if you would like to find it again or you want other people to be able to find this again, okay? Feel free to comment. I love reading your comments, guys, and I do so often, quite often. You'll see me very active in the comment section, by the way. So yeah, Pisces, if you liked it, let me know. And also feel free to check previous future reads and other placements for more or different information. Friends, family members, neighbors, coworkers, Peep and Tom, Peep and Tony down the street, check their placements too so we know what the heck everybody is up to. I love you so very much and wishing you the best. Kisses. Bye-bye.